the Mycenaean civilization appeared during the Late Bronze Age, approximately between 1700 and 1100 BCE. Its zenith occurred from the 15th to the 13th century BCE. The Mycenaeans held sway over a vast expanse, from the Peloponnese in Greece to regions stretching across the Aegean, including Crete and the Cycladic Islands. This culture takes its name from Mycenae, a key city located in the northeastern Peloponnese. Influenced by the earlier Minoan civilization, which thrived from 2000 to 1450 BCE and was centered in Knossos, Crete, the Mycenaeans incorporated elements of Minoan architecture, art, and religious practices. These were modified to align with their own culture, which often leaned toward a more militaristic and austere nature. As the Mycenaeans established their dominance, they not only enveloped most of mainland Greece but also extended their influence to various islands. They fostered trade relations with other Bronze Age cultures, reaching as far as Cyprus, the Levant, and Egypt. This civilization's legacy left an indelible mark on later periods of Greek history. It significantly influenced the narratives of later Greeks during the Archaic and Classical eras. This influence is most evident in the enduring myths surrounding the exploits of Bronze Age heroes such as Achilles and Odysseus, whose legendary roles in the Trojan War continue to captivate our imagination. The Mycenaeans, originating from within Greece, were significantly influenced by their interactions with the Minoan culture of Crete and various other Mediterranean societies. These interactions fueled the development of a more intricate and distinct socio-political structure among the Mycenaeans themselves. Noteworthy Mycenaean centers encompassed locations like Mycenae, associated with Agamemnon, Turins, likely the oldest center, Pylos, linked to Nesta, Thebes, Medea, Gla, or Komenos, Argos, Sparta, Nicaria, and presumably Athens. Over time, the Mycenaeans also extended their presence to Crete, particularly at Knossos, which eventually led to their dominance overtaking the Minoans in the southern Aegean by the latter half of the 15th century BCE. Mycenae, situated atop a striking citadel and hill over 278 meters (912 feet) above sea level, was the largest city in this context. It boasted grand palace structures, numerous tombs, including impressive Thalos tombs, and remnants of fortification walls, the iconic Lion Gate, featuring a pair of heraldic lions above the entrance and dating to around 1250 BCE, stands as a testament to this grandeur. Remarkably, the Mycenaean Megan, a central hall-like structure, served as a precursor to the later iconic temples of the Archaic and Classical periods in the broader Greek world. While the exact political dynamics among the 100-plus Mycenaean centers scattered across Greece remain uncertain, it's intriguing to note that individual palaces specialized in crafting luxury items, while nearby communities focused on food production. How these entities related to each other, both within a palace-village context and between different palaces, is still largely shrouded in mystery. Despite these uncertainties, shared cultural attributes bind the various sites together making the term Mycenaean culture a valuable label. This shared culture encompasses diverse aspects such as architectural styles, frescoes, pottery, jewelry, weaponry, and notably, the Greek language and writing system known as Linear B, an adaptation of Minoan Linear A. In the realm of Mycenaean architecture, a remarkable feature was the Megan, a key element of large palace complexes found across multiple Mycenaean centers. While each complex showcased site-specific innovations, they shared crucial architectural characteristics. These palace complexes revolved around a spacious rectangular central hall called Megan. Intriguingly, the Mycenaean Megan laid the groundwork for the subsequent temples of the archaic and classical Greek periods, comprising an entrance porch, a vestibule, and the central hall itself. The Megan served as the heart of the palace. This central hall was furnished with a substantial circular hearth, often exceeding 3 meters 9, 8 feet, in diameter, supported by four wooden columns beneath a ceiling punctuated with openings for light. This area also functioned as the throne room for the ruler, known as the Wanax. Adjacent to the central hall, there typically existed a smaller hall referred to as the Queen's Megan, in addition to private chambers, administrative spaces, storage rooms, and workshops. Elaborate frescoes adorned the walls and the floors were coated with painted plaster. 
The construction involved rubble fill and cross-beamed walls, overlaid with plaster on the interior and limestone blocks on the exterior, painted wood columns and ceilings, sometimes embellished with bronze elements, completed the architectural composition. Cyclopean walls formed another distinctive facet of Mycenaean architecture. Surrounding the entire palace complex, these walls comprised massive uncut stones, earning the term Cyclopean due to their colossal size, reminiscent of the legendary Cyclopes. Some of these walls attained towering heights of up to 13 meters, 42, 6 feet, and could be as wide as 8 meters, 26 feet. Prominent examples of these walls can be observed at Mycenae, Turins, and Thebes, in stark contrast to the open palaces of Minoan Crete. Additional architectural attributes included corbel galleries, arched passages created through progressively stacked stone blocks, circular stone tombs featuring corbelled roofs, and grand doorways with massive stone lintels, often accompanied by relieving triangles. Mycenaean sites also featured agricultural terraces, flood management structures like dams, prominently seen in Turins, and sturdy bridges fashioned from sizable roughly cut stone blocks, all reminiscent of the legendary Cyclopes' craftsmanship. In contrast to these monumental constructions, the commoners of Mycenaean society resided in more humble mud-brick houses with stone foundations. Evidence strongly suggests that the Mycenaean civilization maintained a network of trade with various Aegean cultures. This is substantiated by the presence of foreign goods such as gold, ivory, copper, and glass within Mycenaean settlements. Similarly, artifacts of Mycenaean origin, like pottery, have been discovered in distant locales including Egypt, Mesopotamia, the Levant, Anatolia, Sicily, and Cyprus. While certain trade goods like olive oil, perfumed oil, and wine were probably part of this exchange, the scarcity of written records, notably limited to around 70 linear B clay tablets from major sites, leaves gaps in our understanding of interregional trade during this period. A fascinating example of this trade network is the Ulaburan shipwreck, a vessel from the 14th century BCE found off the Turkish coast. Laden with materials like copper, tin ingots, ivory, and glass discs, the ship is believed to have been en route to Mycenaean Greece for use in workshops before its unfortunate sinking. In the realm of art, Mycenaean artisans took inspiration from the Minoans' affection for natural forms and fluid designs. However, they added their own distinctive touch, characterized by more stylized and less lifelike representations. This artistic shift became the prevailing style across the Mediterranean. Geometric patterns found favor, alongside decorative elements like spirals and rosettes. While pottery shapes were similar to Minoan designs, Mycenaean artisans introduced new forms such as the goblet and the alabastron, a squat jar. Notably, larger jars were a favored choice. Terracotta figurines, particularly those of animals and standing female figures, gained popularity. Intricately carved stone vessels, sculptures in ivory, and elaborate gold jewelry further showcased the mastery of Mycenaean craftsmanship. Frescoes, richly painted on various surfaces, depicted diverse subjects ranging from plants, griffins, and lions to thrilling scenes like bull leaping, battles, chariots, and boar hunts, highlighting the Mycenaean society's penchant for adventurous activities like hunting. This artistic narrative extended across Mycenaean culture, reflecting not just their artistic prowess, but also their societal values and aspirations. While our knowledge of Mycenaean religious practices remains somewhat limited, certain elements offer glimpses into their beliefs and rituals. Animal sacrifice, communal feasting, libation pouring, and the offering of food were integral aspects of their religious customs. However, many specifics remain shrouded in mystery. Art and architecture provide some clues about Mycenaean religious practices. Symbols like double axe carvings and horns of consecration, prevalent in their art, suggest a possible connection to Minoan religious practices. Yet, it's important to note that these symbols could have been adopted for political or symbolic reasons rather than purely religious ones. Certain architectural features, such as sunken basins, and frescoes depicting altars, hint that the central hall known as the Megan may have served a religious purpose. Additionally, various Mycenaean centers had designated sanctuary sites for worship, often situated near the palace complex. Burial was a significant ritual within Mycenaean society. 
This is evident from the presence of Grand Fellow's tombs, prominent graves, and the abundance of valuable objects buried alongside the deceased. These offerings included exquisite items like golden masks, diadems, jewelry, and ceremonial weapons such as swords and daggers. Although a complete picture of Mycenaean religious beliefs remains elusive, these glimpses into their practices and artifacts offer valuable insights into their spiritual world. The decline and eventual collapse of the Mycenaean civilization, spanning roughly from 1230 BCE to 1100 BCE, remains a topic of ongoing debate among historians. This downfall unfolded in stages, with several sites experiencing destruction between 1250 and 1200 BCE. This marked the beginning of the post-palatial period, characterized by a decline in the centralized palace control system. The extent of destruction varied across sites, with some places avoiding upheaval altogether. Some sites were reoccupied on a smaller scale and with reduced prosperity, while others saw growth and increased prosperity. However, by around 1100 BCE, most Mycenaean sites had dwindled to villages. Numerous theories attempt to explain the collapse of the Mycenaean culture, along with similar collapses in the broader Mediterranean region. These include natural disasters such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis, as well as factors like overpopulation, internal social and political unrest, invasions from groups like the Sea Peoples, and regional climate changes. It's possible that a combination of these factors contributed to the decline. The fall of the Mycenaean civilization and the subsequent Dark Ages marked a transitional period, during which certain sites began to recover in the 10th century BCE. However, it would take many more centuries before Greek culture fully regained the splendor of the Late Bronze Age. The Mycenaean civilization left an indelible mark on later Greek culture, starting from the 8th century BCE. During the Archaic and Classical periods, it inspired the Greeks. This era was often seen as a golden age, characterized by reverence for gods, heightened bravery among warriors, and a simpler, more virtuous way of life. Legendary figures like Agamemnon, Menelaus, Achilles, and Odysseus, who were all part of the Mycenaean Greeks, were celebrated in sculpture, painted pottery, and epic literature such as Homer's Iliad. This epic recounted the tale of the Trojan War, which may have been inspired by real conflicts between the Mycenaeans and other groups like the Hittites.